This is the most frequently asked question at Value Research and it has been like this for many years. Where to invest for next 10 years? And uh, the short answer to this is equity. Which equity? Hello and welcome to Investors Hangout. This weekly interaction to help you learn and understand savings and investment issues is brought to you by Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Value Research. Now, one of the most asked questions here at Value Research is, where should I invest for the long term? Mid cap funds, small cap funds, index funds. So if you also want to invest for your long term goals, but don't know where, watch today's episode, you'll get the answers you've been looking for. I founded Value Research nearly 30 years ago, and this remains the most frequently asked question, where to invest for the long term? And what is long term? So investing for long term, the answer was, the same as it is today that when investing for any period beyond five years and the money which you are unlikely to need in foreseeable future which is five years and more that money should be invested in equity so 10 years it should definitely be equity now uh, why people are so fearful of investing in equity simply because uh, all the news that you see uh, it is wild it goes up by 10 percent in a month it goes up by 15 percent in a month uh, it goes down on a free fall. So that is scary. But despite all the ups and downs, it turns out to be the best performing asset class over any 10 year period that you, you will take. In the American markets, which is, you know, 100, 130 years or 40 years of very closely tracked market, or even in India in the last 40, 50 years, uh, you take any 10 years and you beat inflation, you beat fixed income, and these are the basic uh, yardstick on which you, one should measure any investment. Are you able to beat inflation? Are you able to beat the risk-free return? And you are able to. Uh, the only catch is that, you know, it is wild. So how to do it becomes very crucial. When investing in equity, never invest at one go. Uh, but investing for 10 years, equity is the only choice. Where in equity, first step is to you know evaluate that should you be investing in equity directly. And if you have the time, if you have the inclination, and if you have the wherewithal, if you have the temperament, then buy 10 to 15 stocks, be interested, uh, time it well, and exit it well. But you know, all that requires a great deal of effort. If you can't do all that, if you don't have the time, if you don't have the resources, if you don't have the ability and the temperament, then choose a mutual fund that makes your life easier. But then choosing a mutual fund is also not very easy because you know there are 16, 18 kind of you know tax you know open end funds, tax saving, large cap, mid cap, small cap, aggressive hybrid. So I I would like to simplify your uh, choice. You know if you have never invested in equity, if you are investing for the first time, first year or so, first few years, you should be investing not in an all equity fund. You should be investing in a fund which is 75% invested in equity in a diversified portfolio. Diversified portfolio means a bunch of stocks uh, spread across all kinds, you know, large, small, mid-sized and of all sectors. Uh, so diversification is uh, important, uh, but it's not fully invested in equity. 25% of your money is invested in fixed income. The advantage of this for a new investor is that uh, whatever you may uh, know about equity or whatever you may be reconciled with uh, whatever be your preparedness but when you are faced with a market fall which is always very severe in a brief period of time it is scary and for a new investor it can drive you out of the market forever so to avoid that uh, you have to do two things one is to choose a conservative conservative vehicle so for this the aggressive hybrid funds, these funds are typically 25% into fixed income, 75% into equity, and they don't uh, face that you know dramatic fall. This should be the first one. If you are used to it a little bit, then you should consider a, a flexi cap fund or a multi cap fund because this will get you diversification. More importantly than you know choosing the right vehicle, it is important that you do you don't do two things. One is that uh, don't invest at one go if you have a lakh of rupees or five lakh rupee accumulated for saving for you know accumulated savings to invest don't invest at one go because market is very 
uh, volatile and once you invest and you see a market fall it becomes very difficult to withstand that so invest gradually invest steadily over time so 10 months 12 months 15 months depending on the scale of money the other is that you know you have to avoid a certain set of funds which is the sectoral fund a thematic fund anything exotic anything which you don't understand because the basic principle when you invest in a mutual fund you have to ensure that it will it is going to be a diversified vehicle at all times and if it is a compromise on that if it is not going to be diversified give it a pass you can because uh, if you have to invest in a diversified vehicle index fund is a diversified vehicle i feel that you know one will be still be better off with an actively managed fund if you are able to choose one but uh, don't waste time debating actively managed and index if you can't choose one or if you think that index is fun index funds are good go with it because index fund will give you 90 percent of the return that you'll derive from any actively managed fund little bit less little bit more but in a 10 years time frame, you will definitely be able to derive substantial part of the equity return that you can derive. So there is still a case for actively managed funds in India. But don't, don't you know, delay your investment. Investing and tiding over, you know, investing for a long period of time is important. Markets will turn around or will perform when you least expect it. So invest with it in an index fund if you can't choose, choose a good actively managed fund. One should invest in mid and small cap funds, but they are extremely volatile. That should not be your vehicle of investment in the first few years of your investing life. When you start investing, these are definitely not the vehicles you should start with. So don't invest in mid and small caps in your first two, three years, four years of investment. Though they will always look very tempting. They will look very tempting because when they do well, uh, they just go ballistic. And they do very well in a brief period of time as and when they turn around. So that looks very attractive. It looks like you have missed that big opportunity. But they also faced a free fall. Let me give you a context to this. In 2008 global financial crisis, the market fell. The large cap fund or the index uh, did go down by 45%. But many of the small cap funds went down by 80%. So imagine you invested 100 rupee and you were left with 20 rupee at the, at the worst. Uh, that is very scary. And then when you look at any 10 year time period, Small caps turns out to be the best performing, uh, you know, fund category on many occasions. So I would say that invest in small cap, but not in your early phases of your investing career. Well, that's all we have for you in today's episode. Keep watching this space for more information. If you like the show, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye for now.